Lord has chooses like one person in a generation who will be like the supreme leader of all mankind, and it's the emperor of the Arnaki Empire, surprisingly, mm. every time. Yep. Um, yep. Divine I mean, mandated rule. They, they've already got experience, so I just keep rolling with it. Don't break it if it's not broken. <laughs> yep. No, it's, yeah, it's, right. it's a, a very successful uh, and powerful empire with no flaws whatsoever. Everybody's happy, especially the slaves. Yep. Yep. Man, <laughs> yeah, all the things are taken care of for them. They just mm -hmm. gotta do all the work. Yeah. They get some food, maybe. Depends on who uh, their master is. I, I vote we swing back by on the air. Maybe maybe put out a few more feelers to see if we establish a a proper network. One compulsive liar does not a network network. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So you guys sail back towards Alma here. Uh, like like you said, not really that far uh, away. Uh, you you get back into port uh, late at night. Um, I don't even I don't even think I want to go into port. I, I mean, you I think, you like, could honestly like if we go over to the uh, if you don't want to go into port. Um, let's see, where's um, uh, you could just anchor off of the southern southern shore of the point and like row in i was just gonna have us fly in or you could fly in yep <laughs> what what time of day is it uh you get to the point at like midnight uh, oh so time. we have to wait till evening time before we can make contact. correct Dinner time, he said. Mm -hmm. Start inquiring about an underground warehouse. <laughs> that that's definitely controlled by the Ignis Kai. Is there a church here? Uh do, do. Yes, number six is the Temple of Ignis Kai. I bet it's around there. <laughs> I have this one jar of blasting jelly that I want for a big warehouse. Where would I do that? <laughs> Wow. I say we go to bed. It's midnight. Had a long day. <laughs> yeah, your 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 second shift of uh, sailors probably would be the ones who like sort of notify you when you're within sight of the shore, and you decide that you're just going to anchor off the the south side and wait until morning to do anything. Sure. All right, yeah, easy enough. Uh, morning comes and you see the the sort of drab gray slate shore of uh, Al Mahir. Um, I mean, are you gonna row out? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> 
Yeah, fair enough. Uh, you'd probably have to run to get there without, yeah, without using up all your time. But you, you're pretty fast. You could probably make it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, see so, so you wander into the uh into town at night, uh and uh I mean there's plenty of mercenary types around Alma here. You don't really draw too much attention as you, you sort of go through and do your normal tavern thing. Um Did you make your, your barrel? He did. You can go and sell that while we're here. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> At midnight, just like knocking. You said you're going to Um, yeah, all right. Are you going to head back to the ship or are you going to stay? Okay. Um, yeah, so morning comes once again, and uh, you. Uh, what, what are you guys' plans? Uh, I'm gonna go hawk some jewelry. Okay, you wanna go sell the jewelry? Uh, I'm gonna go sit outside the the temple of Agnes Kai, like a looking like a street urchin. Okay. Uh, we got those cut gems. I I pulled three rings off of that one dude and his his pimp chain. Although that one we should probably just melt down. I'll just go find a, a disreputable goldsmith. Okay. Um so we'll do Mr. Dibbs and Tara first, just like buying or selling things. Um Yeah. Uh, yeah, do you want to go to the, the steel market and haggle? That's where, you know, your random, like, you know, the Arnaki are, are quite fond of their open-air markets where you can just, like, yep. sell random stuff. Um, Let's go there. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Sure. Classic. Uh, how are, are you going to row into shore? Or are you going to fly? We got to bring... Let's row. We got to bring that barrel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you and, and, and a, a choice selection of crew are allowed to come uh, into port. Long time ago, there was one guy. Yeah. A yeah, long time ago, there like, was a guy, but I don't remember if he was a guy or not. <laughs> you there. Yeah. Um All right, so yeah, you you head into town. Uh what Tari, you've got the the rings and the the Ignis Kai amulet that you want to sell? Uh yep. Okay. Um yeah, so you, why don't you give me a uh, a common knowledge role or a persuasion role, both of you, both of you guys. I got a three. Three, okay. Uh, Tara, did you roll a one on your trait die? Uh, no. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. See, I mean, like, you get a a decent price for them. Uh, the, the haggling of these merchants is quite fierce. Uh, but, um, yeah, so for the three rings, you get uh, 50 marks a piece. 
Um, and then for the the amulet of Ignis Kai, you get uh, seventy five marks. Um, and then what? Uh, what were you saying? The brass statue. Okay. Yep. You selling that on the street? All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> thousands of year old artifacts yep yeah, no it's it's fine uh you get yeah that's absolutely true um i mean how much are we gonna get for it uh it's it's fine craftsmanship uh let's say a hundred marks <laughs> it's like here Got this. It's like, ah, oh, that's pretty nice. Um, and then the barrel. Um, yep. Oh yeah, you could you could exchange those for uh, the equivalent amount of currency that they're worth by you know selling them to people. Sure, yeah, it's like a, a lapis, uh, lots of light. It's like, uh, it would be like 50 of the 500 marks for that. It's a hundred and eight plus one. So 258 for everybody once we split it in three. Yeah, and then there's the 150 for the rings plus the 75 for the, the pin chain. <laughs> All right. So that's accounting for everything. 258 per. Yep. <laughs> yes. Have to share. Okay, fine. <laughs> Shy. Precious. Um. Okay. So the uh, r r I believe the. The barrel was uh, uh, Carwald, Carwald Red Whiskey. Mm -hmm. and he would he would uh, sell it or buy it buy it too from you. Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Bring it back to the ship. <laughs> it's like, actually, I decided I don't want to sell it yet. And they're like, ah. <laughs> Uh, eh, fair enough. Um, all right. So that's your your day in the market. Uh, so Robin, uh, yep. you go by the Temple of Ignis Kai, which is a moderately sized temple. Um, not not as extravagant as some. Um, it, it's a sort of a sort of squarish stone building that has some some flame decorations on like pillars, uh, sort of uh, on the four corners. Um, you're just gonna sit outside and be like, just like little urchin child. Be a street urchin, maybe panhandle some. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you, uh, a few. Paul, uh, Paul's gonna do do little tricks. No. Yeah. Okay. Um. Does Paul have the perform skill? <laughs> nope. Okay. I, I didn't think so. I have him. 
do an untrained uh, skill roll, just you know, just for fun. He is a wild card, at least. Uh, three. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, he does a he does things. It's I wouldn't call it an act, but it it's it is amusing. He's a parent that does cool stuff, but I feel like it usually comes off as annoying. Yeah, or just kind of weird. <laughs> um, yes, he does have kind of a dark sense of humor. So you get, um, you don't get any money. Uh, you get some pretty dirty looks of people like just sort of walking by you and stuff. Um, after about twenty minutes of sitting out there, uh, you see the uh, the the doors to the temple uh, sort of like move a little bit, and a. Uh, um, a man wearing the robes of a priest sort of step out um, and sort of looks over at you and starts walking over towards you. I keep acting. Okay. I'm trying to get Paul to act. <clears throat> um, so uh, he he walks over uh, up to you and kind of like looks around uh, like down either side of the street. Um, and sort of kneels down in front of you um, by whatever thing you have held out. Does he have a, a magic aura? Uh, you glance at him, and he does not seem to have a magic okay. aura. Uh, but he kneels down in front of you and pulls uh, up from like the sleeve of his robe a um, a hunk of bread and some cheese, uh, and and puts it in in uh, your your container, and sort of. Uh, looks at you with um, a sort of like weathered but uh, fairly kind face and says, uh, little girl, you should not be out on the street in this city. Uh, there are many men who have grudges against your people here. I do not think I... it will end well for you. I, I don't have anywhere to go. Uh, he kind of looks at you with pity and says, uh, I am sorry, my child, but it, you should try and find a way to leave the city. Uh, he, uh, uh, give me, give me a persuasion roll, Robin, for, for patheticness. How sad you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Eight? Eight? Okay. So he kind of like stands up and, and uh looks looks at you and sort of sighs and, and pulls out a uh like a coin purse and puts uh fifty marks into your uh into your collection thing and says Use that to uh see if you can find passage off out of the city. Uh there is a merchant uh, by the name of um, uh, Yamar. He should not look too unkindly at you. Thank you, sir. Now, please go. Uh, sure, I'll walk away for now. All right. So he, he kind of like watches you leave briefly and then like heads back inside the temple. Oh, probably. I I guess I didn't <laughs> specify ahead of time. I probably still have my rifle. I just hit it somewhere, I imagine. So I can <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so I think you just have it like folded behind you, sort of out, <laughs> out of the way. Yeah. Tucked away. So I once he goes but I grab that and walk off her a bit at least. Okay. Uh, I, I will say as as you I kind of like there's lots of people who look unfavorably to me. As as you sort of like walk away, he calls after you, says, uh, "Flame guide you, my child. Maybe uh, one day our people can be united." <clears throat> I'll just walk off and say, I'm mutter my breath, that will never happen. <laughs> Kill you all. 
Okay, thanks. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, are you going to st still sort of like loiter around and try and scope the place out anymore, or...? There's... I was trying to get an invitation in. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got the Damn opposite. You gave me a bunch of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll pay you $50 to leave the city. I guess I'll go buy a nice, a nice meal for me. Okay. Maybe go try to find this merchant guy, see what he knows. Uh, yeah, you go down to the, the docks. Yeah. Go, get a, uh, a, a, a common knowledge or streetwise world. Get a lead on a not racist merchant. <laughs> well, not only that, but it's a lead on a merchant that a priest of Enos dies on a basis with. That's true. Common knowledge. Here we go. Ooh, I got a five. A five. All right. Um, yeah. So you, you man do manage to like go up to the docks. You have a little some lunch and uh, with Paul, and you find uh, Yamar's ship. Um, it's called the uh, uh, the seaweed surprise. <laughs> All right. I will try to strike up a conversation with a random crew. Okay. Um, so uh, there is, yeah, there's a couple of crew like loading uh, cargo onto it. Um, and uh, one of them kind of waves as you approach and says, uh, nice parrot. Say thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure he's not a comedian? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got we we got an act somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, it's like uh, rah, what's the deal with dragon whales, rah? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yep. No, seriously. No. Oh, they're kind of scary. <laughs> uh, I say, what you, what, what you loading? Uh, uh, this, this beautiful ship, the seaweed surprise. <laughs> it, it is, uh, or we're bound for Vakalish. Do you need a uh, transport somewhere? Uh, maybe. Where Where all do you guys go? Where Where have you been? Where do you go? What do you do? Uh, Tell me your been... life story. <laughs> uh, we sail all around the Kursi, you know, bringing things where they are supposed to go. Yes, and sometimes we pick up some people. Uh, if you know uh, how to uh, man a ship, then. Uh, it is a, you know, pay your way through work, uh, but, well, I, I don't know. Have you ever been on a ship before? Mm, I got here somehow. Eh, I suppose that's true, but uh, sometimes it's not, uh, well, you're a passenger, yes? Yeah. Um, do you guys ever go to the Great Salt Marshes? Uh, he kind of goes like, Psh, uh, no, no, uh, dangerous territory down here, and not much work for merchants. That's the uh, realm of explorers, no? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> uh, uh, a nice, a nice priest sent me uh, to talk to your captain. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. Yes, uh, I I know who you're talking about. Uh, down by the temple, he's a he's a kind soul, not uh, often found in this port. Yeah, how do, how does how does he know your captain? Um, we have done dealings in the past. It is 
The captain doesn't like us to discuss business out in the open, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, us, us young girls are untrustworthy. Pretty dangerous. <laughs> uh, he kind of, like, uh, chuckles a little bit and looks around and says, uh, If you would like to talk to the captain, then I'm sure I could uh, find him. I think he's on but the ship. If he's around. Um... Yeah, they, he goes below deck and uh, he um, comes back up with a uh, a younger uh, Arnaki man, um, very uh, dark skin uh, of one of the more like southernly uh, sort of uh, ethnicities of of the Arnaki people, and uh, he he sort of uh, smiles and gives like a little uh, like bow to you and says, uh, "Oh." Uh, I heard that you are looking for me. You already know my name. Uh, who are you? Oh, I am. I suppose I'll just say Robin. I probably shouldn't say my full title. I'm Robin. Hi, nice to meet you. This is hey, Paul. Paul. Say hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Always the comedian, that Paul. <laughs> Uh, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, would you come in and uh, you care for some a bite to eat? Oh yes, I haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> um, yeah, so he he invites you in and and says, uh, "I uh, my uh, crew member there told me that you heard about me through." Uh, our friend at the temple, yes? Yeah, he's been very kind to me. Hmm. We get um, some passengers like you. Uh, like me? On occasion. Well, uh, Kerites usually, uh, sometimes others that found their way and uh, are looking for a, uh, a passage to freedom. Way. Yeah. It's uh, difficult for your people in, in uh, these times, I realize. Um, but I think that perhaps when you are older, things will be better. Yeah, I might understand colonial colonialization a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Uh... So what do I gotta do to earn passage on this lugger? Well, uh, if you have any experience sailing, then you are are welcome. Uh, I don't, I can't say I've had any uh, young girls on my crew, uh, but I am willing to give anyone a shot. And uh, otherwise, uh, if. The priest gave you anything to give me, I uh, then I would be happy to take that. Otherwise, uh, well, we can at least take you with us to the next city. Uh, no trouble. When do you, you don't sleep? Look very heavy. Uh, oh. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, so Robin well, joins, joins this crew. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you Paul, never hear from her again. Go, go say goodbye for me. <laughs> I'm joining a new ship. <laughs> and we're going to go explore the deep vault. Oh my god. Oh. That's a tough sell. <laughs> He'll play, be like, you want to go where? No. <laughs> Why would you do that? So do you have any experience sailing? Well, let me tell you about the last few months. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay. I'll, I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Maybe. All right. Yep. He nods and smiles. Seems friendly enough. So why, why are you, I, I have met some real assholes. Why are you so nice to, to me? Well, um... Why is the priest... Why was the priest so nice to me? There is... Uh, 
I don't know how familiar you are with the uh, the cult of Ignis Kai, but uh, I think I'm a new member. <laughs> some of them, uh, uh, the more common belief is, uh, of course, the emperor is is uh, our great leader, um, the uniter of all mankind, and uh, the tenets, of course, are formed around unity. Um, but there are some of us who believe that unity and equality come hand. Uh, not many, to be honest, but uh, I think it is the way of the future. So how do you know the, the kind priest? Uh, we we go back uh, a long ways. Okay, I mean... He, he seems unwilling to... Uh, to, um, yeah, more than that, at least in a, in a first meeting. Yeah. Probably used to not spilling the beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, right. uh, I just, I, I, I just... I don't know if I if I want to ride on a ship but if if it's if it's doing anything illegal. Oh, nothing strictly illegal. I mean, of course, uh, you are not a slave, are you? Of course not. Well, then there's no problem. <laughs> all right. Or merely a passenger, and that is all. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Eat. In the meantime, yeah. I'm going to go back to my pirate <laughs> Do you actually say that? No. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. So you you head off back to your normal business. Um, is there something else that you wanted to do, Mike? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he's there. Uh, he kind of smiles and says, Ah, oh, you got that barrel yet? <laughs> oh, uh... I wish you luck, my friend. You will need it. I uh, kind of looks like he's like, yeah, why not? Fifty marks. Ah oh, well, I will be keeping this for sure, and. Uh, <laughs> Don't feel too bad if that is the case. He sort of considers and nods. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you guys want to do before? Uh, so the the plan is to go and meet with uh, Safur in in the evening. Yep. Or Safur. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna go find these two somehow. <laughs> uh, it was the building next to the red, the attic of the building next to the red lantern. I think we were right. probably going to meet at the Red Lantern to go yeah. talk to him. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. So you guys sort of converge in the evening after your your day of various errands and ex adventures. Um, and uh, sort of move together over to the... Uh, um, there's like sort of a... 
like a scaffold structure that goes up to the, like the the attic window where he uh, indicated for you to meet. Scaffold in the alleyway. Um, yeah, so you climb up. Uh, let's see. You uh, uh, are you going? Are you trying to be stealthy or anything? Eh, act like we're supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you get up there. Uh, who's going in first? Um. All right. Give me a notice roll. <laughs> Uh, nope. Eleven, okay. Um, alright, so as you step in, uh, you kind of, like, look around, and, uh, you see there is a, a bowl, uh, of some kind of, like, uh, like, curry dish or something that's sitting on the, uh, on the floor, just sort of, like, steaming a little bit with, like, a fork kind of a little ways away and your eyes kind of like follow up to a um uh like uh like a a cabinet or something and there's a figure sort of crouched down behind it i'm gonna go to the curry bowl pick it up and start eating it uh you, you hear kind of like a ah oh hello oh <laughs> it kind of like shuffles out from behind the the cabinet, it uh, it's you. Uh, hello, uh, I did not expect to see you so soon, but I am very glad that you are here. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I eating your dinner? Uh, yes. I'll take another bite and then I'll hand it over. <laughs> Thank you. It's good, isn't it? No, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Was it good? Ah. Uh... Not, not terrible. It's like okay. four, four out of ten. Very spicy. Okay. Mostly well, like, just. He's spicy. Got that going for it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, he says that he he kind of like starts uh keeps eating and says that. Uh, so um, the, what do you need? I am still looking for um large quantities of wealth for you to pillage. Well, um, we actually have a specific thing we'd like you to look for. Oh well, I'm I like I said, I'm good at finding things. Uh, there, I'll, I mean, I'll pull out the letter, I guess, and I'll show it to him. He sort of takes it and uh, reads it, um, kind of like raises his eyebrows and says, mm, "A warehouse, you say?" Yes, it's filled with this. These jars, and I'll. And I guess we didn't bring the jar, but. Uh, it's well, a, you have the, the fire, right? That's a little different. It's the amber instead of the jelly. There are large white ceramic jars filled with a very volatile blue jelly substance. Hmm, sounds very dangerous. Probably valuable to the right person, though. Hmm, I know of several warehouses in the city. Uh, I have not poked my nose around them recently, but I could. I could certainly do so. Uh, and underground. Uh, underground. Well, uh, I believe there is a warehouse by the Majorai guild uh not necessarily associated with ignis kai but you know what is it a little bit associated with the temple huh? um and then uh there's of course the uh the treasury warehouse but uh, it seems unlikely that they would put it there at say a wooden building uh in above ground um i think there are other Places that are less known that uh, the uh, military and and uh, the council are 
like to ferret things away. I would uh, have to uh, do some investigation, though. Um, That's all we need. A few days. Maybe, maybe a week. Well, we'll probably be gone for at least a week before coming back to only here. He kind we of like business elsewhere. Nods, puts a big chunk of food in his mouth, and is like, mm, "Yes, uh, I will find it. Find uh, it. I will find it by then, for sure. You can count on me. I am the best, after all. The best." He nods several times and grins. Alright, well, I enjoy our dinner. I, I was just gonna say, I'll, I'll take out the 50 gold that the priest gave me. He says. Oh, well, I mean, what doesn't go easier with a little bit of coin? Just kind of like eyeing the money. Like, money. Yeah. Alright, give him 50 marks. Or I guess it's probably more like 45 after I ate lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he very quickly, like, uh, scoops it up and tucks it into his, his uh, jacket. Says, um,. Okay, well, uh, I don't have any more dinner, but, uh, well, I didn't expect you to be here. Uh, they don't really have much of note in them, just, like, random stuff. Uh, you find a very, very, very stale uh, couple of tin of crackers uh, in, like, the back corner. Okay. <laughs> they taste like sawdust and rocks. <laughs> yeah. I'm a spy for, not, for having the audacity to not hope <laughs> when we came unannounced. <laughs> I'll take one and just start yep. munching. I, oh, these remind me of my time in the Navy. <laughs> I'll, I'll smack Paul like, no, Paul, we're too good for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go get better at crackers. <laughs> no. 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 No need for glass. <laughs> okay. You know there's an inn right over there. Well, I mean, yes, but... <laughs> have, have a good night. All right. Uh, yes. So you've sufficiently intimidated him again. Uh, but give him money. Um, yep. <clears throat> yep. Oh, you're yeah. really trying to rob one pirate. Um, yeah. I I accept all slights, real or imaginary. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Maybe that's why sure his problem it. was magical fuckery. <laughs> yeah. And now he's just, like, too embarrassed to admit it. <laughs> he's so embarrassed that he's gonna work for slavers instead of admit it. <laughs> I 
That's kind of what I was trying to do when we talked, but eh, whatever. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll recount my tale of earlier the day, and if they want, if we want to follow up, I don't think it'll go anywhere. But I went uh, and met a surprisingly nice uh, priest, condom out of fifty gold. <laughs> went and chatted with a merchant who he knows who but he's very kind of being shady about how he is tied with the cult so you you happen to pawn like the one nice priest of his guy <laughs> that doesn't actually like slavery yep <laughs> <laughs> That's useful to know that that like not everybody is super into their government as it yeah. is though. Yeah, uh, if, if we if we ever want to like instill an uprising, we got some some a good place to start. Yeah, we got like two. Yeah. The free isle, although they're not, they are. Uh, they say they're a sovereign nation. I guess the Arnaki would probably consider them to be rebels or deserters or something, but yeah. They're also not 100% Arnaki. Because, you know, there's some federation too. Yeah. No. Fair amount of Karite. Yeah, and a fair amount of Karites, yeah. Alright. Um, to the vault! Okay. You guys are going to leave Alan here once more, uh, destined to be back again, and uh, maybe look into some some uh, warehouse shenanigans. Warehousery. Um, all right. Sure, why not? As uh, so you set course for the deep vault, or the approximate location thereof, <laughs> the uh, the ping that we got from the one thousand or a thousand year old hide map. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm, sure, right. I'm sure the resolution was great. Yeah, very, very good. Um. All right, Tara, give me a navigation roll. Alrighty. Eight. Eight. Thank you, little. All right. Um, so, do you want to just stay mostly along the coast, or do you want to try and like go out into the ocean and and head like that's sort of like the you could go sort of like this and then go out at the last possible point, or you could kind of head out into the deeper ocean and do something like that. Um, do we know what the, the shipping lanes are? Are they normally pretty close? Um, there isn't much shipping that goes on out here. Uh, so um, mainly because it there tends to be uh, it tends to be pretty stormy from the like uh, stuff off the endless ocean, oh. and it's also just easier to go through the you know the inner sea. It's a, it's a little stormy out here. Little stormy. Little stormy, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. I no, that since wise, it'll be pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know much about these little islands? Uh, no. Other than the fact that they're on your map. Let's let's loop around the outside of those. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, how is that eel, by the way? Oh yes, I forgot. Yeah. Um yeah, so the uh the the eel, uh he prepares it uh one night. Um probably the yeah, it would be it would have been the night you were like sailing back to Alnahir. Um 
So he has it all like um, he he made like sort of a broth for it and got it all like um, spread out um, on like a big plate and uh, like flayed. Um, so you know, I mean, it's not that much meat for everyone, but so everyone gets like a little little uh, cube, pretty much. You guys get a larger cube because you know you're officers. That is true. That is it is pretty big deal. Um, um, Ensign also, of course, gets an officer's cube. Oh yes, of course. Um, and he he has like a little rack of his personal spices that he used, um, and some like oil. And uh, the the main feature is the little chunks of uh, the hide that he he used. Uh, he sort of like make made like little shallow bowls with a little bit of oil in them and then like uh lit them on fire to make like and like lined it down the middle uh like little sort of candles on top of the uh the thing so very fancy for for ship's food and uh it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah it's definitely the best thing that he's he's made thus it's far. like eel benihana yeah. yeah. So so before we forget about it, what are we doing with the eel sock that's on fire? Oh god. Yeah. I already forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something we want to keep on this ship? Uh actually I so yeah, uh you keep it for a little while. Um after about a day, the fire starts to slowly fizzle out, um, oh, and by by a, like it takes about thirty hours or so, but it 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 goes out after a while. It just sort of dies, and then we just have the inverted eel sock. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have two ash eel hides though, that are suitable for purposes, crafting or otherwise. <laughs> like a like a big tentacle arm. <laughs> In an eel sock puppet. Oh, oh okay. We should have given those to some like leather workers to turn into clothing. If you wanted to do that, you you definitely could. Yep. Uh, Are you putting you Fireside out or Fireside in? Because that's just going to catch it on fire, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you get like a heated blade or something and, and try it. Um, you could use Dawn's Eye even. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it, it does not catch fire. Uh, yes. Uh, it is definitely less than normal clothing. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it seems very functional as like a... a fire retardant uh leather you should totally totally get some some stuff made out of it uh also because style matters it it, it is the sort of like a um an ashy gray color i Stylish too. Nice.
uh, do you want to try and find a um, a tanner? Yes. To make it into some oh, like leather jacket type stuff. Uh, that that would have been before you guys did that on your thing. So, yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so the hide. Uh, so y you could make. Uh, uh, what kind of armor do you are you guys wearing? Is it plus one armor or plus two? Mm -hmm. I I have a coat. Is it plus a... one or plus two? I have plus one armor. I have a little like leather jerkin tank top thing. Okay. Um. So you could plus one with with this. You could make uh the eel eel skin armor uh with plus one armor for all three of you. Uh, or you could make one suit of uh, plus two and one plus one. So basically, you get three armor points, max plus two armor, to disperse with this stuff. Um, and uh, mechanically, it gives you plus two armor against fire damage. When when that part of your clothes is being hit. Man, now I really wish we caught that other eel. <laughs> See if you're getting ash eels. Uh, you do know that they are they tend to stick to very deep waters, probably. like deep underwater. Yeah. But I guess you are going to the deep vault, so. Um, I mean, you you guys tend to be in the melee more. Than what, the one to have the plus two and one to have the plus one. Well, if we get oh. one more eel, then we can just make a little one for Robin. I, unless You're it's too weak to, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have a D4 strength. I literally yeah. can't carry, I can't right. carry leather armor. <laughs> <laughs> too much. I'm a very, I'm actually quite small framed. <laughs> it's all that internal electrocution. No, it weighs the same. Okay, um, so you pay a uh, uh, hundred marks. Uh, how much is leather armor? It's not that expensive. Fifty percent of the cost in crafting fee. Um, whatever that is, and then you'd be able to get that next time you go get back in town. Uh, no, it would be fifty. Is on half half cost because you you're providing the materials. Yeah. Um, can I request if he has any scraps to to create some small like bags or pockets with the outside? Of the of the leather facing inside. So oh, like uh, little little fireproof yeah, pockets. Fireproof pockets. Yep. Yeah, that that's could probably get like um four fireproof pockets. Okay. Which he, he says uh you know like uh, however many is left over, but I rolled one d four. Okay. Um, so four. So you're going to write that down on your pending orders or whatever. 